Hi and welcome to this tutorial video. Today we want to show you the steps required to install your Home Monitor 360. First thing we need to do is to download the app. To do that you need to go into the App Store if you are an Apple user or into the Play Store if you are using Android. The video in this tutorial is taken from the Apple version of the application. Links to the applications can be found in the video description below. Let's start by clicking on the My D-Link Home icon. If you are an existing My D-Link user, please sign in with your account details. If you don't have a My D-Link account, you can tap on the link at the bottom of the screen to sign up and register for a new account. When you have done that, please check your email. We have automatically sent a verification that you need to click on to verify your account. Now start the app again and sign in with your username and password at the sign in screen. Tap on the plus sign on the screen to start the installation of your new device. If you already have devices installed on your account, you need to tap on settings in the top left of the screen and then add new device to start the installation. There are two ways to install the device. We recommend that you use the QR code which was included in the package. Tap next to start scanning the QR code. Now it's time to plug in your device and continue by tapping next. Wait for the LED to blink green on the device and then tap next. Now it's time to connect your home monitor 360 with your existing Wi-Fi network. If your router supports the function WPS, we suggest you use this method. If your router doesn't support this function, you need to select manual and then follow the on-screen instructions. We will choose the WPS method in this tutorial. Press the WPS button on your router and then tap next in the app to continue. Now it's time to connect your camera with your existing network. Press the WPS button on the back of the camera for 3 seconds and tap next. Now check the LED. If it has turned solid green, tap on the button green. This will start the search for your device. When the app has found your device, the next step is to select your time zone. When you have done that, tap next to continue. Now you can set a password for administrating your device. You can also give it a nickname. This is useful if you have many devices and want an easy way to separate them. You can also change the icon of the device. You can use either a predefined photo from the app, your photo library or take a photo. When you're done selecting, tap on the button done to save the settings. Now you can see your device in the list, My Devices. To view the live stream from your home monitor 360, tap on the name of your device. At the bottom of the live stream, you can change the settings of your camera. You can turn audio on or off, take a snapshot and set the camera to day or night mode. You can also choose the automatic mode. You can also drag your finger on the image to control the camera. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please check out our other support videos on dlink.com/support.